So, you want to know how to download the Near Automata Development Debug Build. If you already own the uh, base game, you will have access to this through Steam. First, we're going to need the console for Steam, so we're just going to search for where the uh, shortcut for Steam will be. In the case of my uh, PC, it's on uh, my C drive. We're just going to edit the, uh, the target for this shortcut to enable the console. So space dash console, hit apply, and we're going to launch that shortcut. That will open up Steam and alongside the console, which we're going to enter uh, a couple commands to download the uh, development build. So right up at the top here we have console, and I'll have the text that we specifically want to enter in the command line down at the bottom linked in the description. So just copy paste download depot and hit enter. And now we wait. Downloading Depot. This download, I believe, is about 30 gigabytes, 30 to 40 gigabytes in size, so we will be waiting for a little while here. It's important to not turn off your PC, not close Steam, otherwise the download will fail. It's okay if the uh, download text uh, scrolls up the screen, that's perfectly fine. Uh, once the download is complete, however, it will say uh, the, the console will print out download uh, depot download complete and it'll give you a file path as to where the uh, download was placed on your computer and you can then move that folder to anywhere. It is worth mentioning that the nearautomata.exe file that you will find in that folder is identical to um, the standard nearautomata.exe file that you would find in the standard download. However, because this is the development debug build, this automata.exe file is going to be the development debug build version. It's effectively a different version of the game. So after a few hours, once the download is complete, you'll see depot download complete, and it'll give you a file path to where the uh, download deposited the files. So we're going to navigate to that same And there we are. So now you can move this folder to uh, anywhere uh, on your PC that you would like and launch this exe file and now you're in the development debug build. So for me, I'll, I've moved my uh, download to my uh, faster SSD with a lot of space on it so we can just launch this exe and this should launch the development debug build of Nier Automata. It's okay if there's any graphical issues with this because depending on how your system handles the game naturally, it will load with whatever uh, resolution that is usually the default. So for me, this is 1600 by 900, but it might be different for you. And if there are any errors that come up, it should be okay to hit okay. And we can just load up one of my saves here. So a good example of this is this error, which is completely meaningless. Um, we're going to ignore that. Yeah, if anything weird comes up, then uh, it should disappear just like that, and if there are more errors, then you kind of have to deal with it just because this is the 
dev build of the game, so there are some unfinished things. And there are at some points during the game that will softlock. Um, but the basic controls of this will be... Um, I forget. That's the regular debug menu, but we're looking for... Uh, right. So for me, I have it on right bumper and uh, the back button on my controller. It might be a little different for you, but I believe this is hard-coded into the uh, controller itself. You'll notice that I'm firing my pod, but that's fine. Um, but there's a number of controls that we can go through here. Uh, between phase jumping, which is sort of like chapter select, but a lot more detailed, where you can jump between specific, uh, almost like mission triggers. Uh, flag edit is a more advanced uh, debug menu that we've been experienced with the uh, base version of the game. Debug player menu gives us way more options for doing stuff. I think one of these is infinite jump, infinite HP, one HP. Uh, easy CPU monitor is mostly for statistics. Uh, save data edit, I believe this is for specific items, so giving the player items, giving the player XP, subtracting uh, specific levels. In order to change these values, you have to hold A or X if you're on PlayStation and move left or right with the D-pad, and you can see how it changes there. And if you hit back on this menu, it will always pull you down to the bottom most value, and you just want to hit accept. That will accept any changes that you've made to the file and apply them. Trial setting, I'm not too sure what these are. I believe this is for the sort of score attack mode of killing enemies and uh, to a timer that I believe was demoed at uh, pre-release for the game. Some of these menus I'm not even familiar with, so there is a lot of uh, exploration to be made in this version, in addition to the translations. And I believe I just bricked the game. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there you have it. Now you have the development debug build version of Nier Automata installed, and you can uh, practice on it as you like, or edit whatever save you wish to edit. Thank you.